Hello, this is Ashi from Crafting with Ashi, and welcome to this video. This is the card I'm making today. It's a cute easel card. See, that's how it looks. I don't know if you can get it all on the camera. There you can. So, you've got the tigers here, and these tigers very much remind me of the poem by William Blake Tiger, tiger, burning bright in the forest of the night. What immortal hand or eye could frame thy fearful symmetry? I love that poem, I really do. So, we're going to be stamping some tigers. We're going to use this set that's called Wildcats, as you can see. So, I've got everything set up on my stamparatus, and we're going to stamp initially, I am anyway, in Cajun Crazy Ink. So, I'm just going to ink everything up nicely. I'll just read my ink pad so it's incredibly juicy. So let's put that down there and just close that up before I have an accident. And just press down. And there we have our tigers. Now I'm just going to restamp. There's quite a bit of ink on my thing still. Give it a better press down. There we go. There are our tigers. So I'm going to give this a clean now. And I always just take the plate off. I find it so much easier to do it this way. I get him to get less ink on stuff if I take the plate off and give it a, a clean this way. I'm just using the simple chamois. Because these stamps, as I said, the ink pad has just been reamed, so it's incredibly juicy. Um, I think I over inked it, but it's not the end of the world. It all get used up. So I'm just going to put these two stamps away. And then this is a two-step stamping stamp set. So I'm going to bring in the other bits that we need. This is his, um, for his head. I'm just going to line it up, excuse me if I've got my head in the camera, just so I can see what, what I'm meant to be doing. And just line it up, take your time, something like that. And I'm just going to make sure my paper's properly in the corners, like that, and it is. Sorry, just need to make sure. Don't want to make a mess if I can help it. So that's his little head, and then we're going to put his stripes on as well. So this bit I always get confused because I'm easily confused just to get his stripes nicely lined up. There we go. That should do it. Pick that up as well. Make sure our paper's in the corner. And we're going to stamp in Merry Merlot ink. And I'm matching the colours in the designer series paper that goes with this bundle. So. Press that down. Yay! And there's our tiger. I know you can't see it so well on the camera, but I'll bring it to the camera in a second when I've finished all the stamping. So now we're going to do exactly the same thing for the other tiger. And this is the beauty, these pieces work for both for both animals, both positions, I should rather say. And then we're going to, I think we'll do that one separately so we don't get things confused. So that's just stamp his little head. One little 
head stamped. And it's amazing what a difference it makes when you just add these extra little details. So one head and now we're going to add some stripies. So let's get these stripes sorted. To be honest, it doesn't matter if it's not absolutely perfect. If you look at animals, no two animals' fur is exactly the same. No two leopards or cheetahs or tigers sort of have stripes looking exactly the same. So it's just an impression. So there are our two tigers. Let's clean that up so we can move it. And get rid of this. Set that aside for a second. So, whoops, no, you shouldn't do what I just did is let the two magnets meet. That was very bad of me. If that's the way you're going to smash them to bits. I've got here a strip of one inch cardstock and this is very vanilla. I should have said we stamped on very vanilla as well. Um, so don't think I'm going to need the second piece. And I'm going to use this sentiment that says, have a wild birthday. And now we're going to try and line it up straight and hope for the best. Moved our paper. Not the end of the world. We'll put it back. And I'm going to stamp in Cajun Crazy Ink. Yep, yeah, there we go. Have a wild birthday. Now these do come with matching dies, which are these here, and these are the big cat dies. So you've got this one and we've got that one. So I'm going to put this all through the die cutting machine and I'll be back. Okay, so everything is cut out as you can see. So now it's time to build our card. And I have here a piece of Merry Merlot cardstock. And this is a full sheet of A4, so it would normally be like this. And I've just cut it in half on the short side. So it actually measures 10.5 centimetres by 29.7 centimetres. 29.7 is the full length of a piece of A4 cardstock. So now we're going to do a little bit of scoring. And we are going to score at, um, let's see, seven, let's do it this way, it's the easy way. We're going to score at 14.85 centimetres. This is exactly half an A4 size. And it's a funny measurement because A4 is 29.7. So we're going to score that in half and then we want to get the middle point to score at. And to do that, all I'm going to do is just fold one and half in and that's my middle point and that's where I want to score my my mark and if you're wanting to do that that's going to be about 7.4 centimeters if you're looking to do it just by scoring so let's set the trimmer aside and get our bone folder out so we can get some nice crisp score lines so let's fold on that score line and fold on that score line. So our card's going to sit like that. So let's bring in our bits of paper and whatnot. We're all here and we're going to use the Wild at Heart designer series paper. And that's going to look, this piece is going to go on the front of our card. And this piece here is just a quarter sheet of A4. So you just divide your A4 sheet into a quarter. And we're going to just stick that down like that. So it's a lovely paper. As you can see, so I've used this one of the zebra stripes as well. The only the only downside I have to say for the paper, and that's just my personal preference, is because all of my family, my mother's heritage, you know, comes from South Africa, 
I would have loved if the paper could have had some more animals like lions and cheetah and um, zebra and all of that but that's just that's really is me <laughs> because those are the animals that I love and I love the antelope at home like the impala um, the Thompson gazelles the Tommies as we call them the springbok and all the other animals like the wildebeest and the, um, the zebras giraffes but that's me <laughs> this is wild big cats so yes they could have had lions as well and and cheetahs i'd have been happy but there you go i like it still it's still a nice piece of paper so we've stuck a piece of very vanilla in the inside all the measurements will be on the blog post on my website so don't worry about trying to find all of those pieces out so now we want to stick this little piece here um, and this is going to be part of our stopper on the inside so let's do that and stick that down just like that okay so we've stuck this down now we're going to stick a piece of the same paper to the top of our easel here so what I do with my snail I think it's hiding from me Yes, I know I'm using snail nearly two years after it retired, but I had an amazing stock of it, as you can tell. This, I used to use it for classes and selling classes when I had in-person classes. And then, of course, COVID hit, and all my in-person classes stopped, ground to a halt, and I've still not restarted them. I am hoping, you know, if I'm very lucky, to restart them maybe in May this year. It really just depends. I have to be quite careful because um, I fall into the super vulnerable group, unfortunately. So I just want trying to be a little bit more. I still do stuff. I still we went out. We went to restaurant on Monday and do things. But just maybe you know, just sort of thinking things through a bit before I do them. That's all. Because I've also got my mother living with me and. You know she's elderly and so I don't want to just do anything silly or take any, any unnecessary risks that could hurt either of us so we've stuck that down you can see how it's coming together so now I'm going to got a piece here of this you can use either use soft succulent I think this was a piece of just jade actually you can see it also goes and I'm just going to put this across the top here and this is going to be somewhere for our tiger and stuff to sit and I've got glue all over my snail all over my nice craft mat and everything's going to stick to it but the beauty of snail is you can just do this you can just rub it or stamp and seal you can just rub it off Eek. so I'm going to just put it somewhere in the centre and I'm just going to this would have been easier if I'd done this before we um, stuck it down but I wasn't thinking clearly obviously and I'm just going to do it this way and it works just well I just wanted to go to the end there so I'm just making quite a bit of a score line and then I know exactly where I need to cut. So we've cut it to the same measurement and that will be 10 centimeters wide. I can't remember how wide this is. This is just a scrap so I don't think I ever did measure it to see how wide it was but I can tell you I can find a ruler. It's about five centimeters wide so just over just about two inches somewhere like that. Okay so that's what we've got so far. So now we're going to put a little tiger down and I'm going to put this strip down first um, and sort of see where my tiger is going to go. It's going to go around there. So I know the whoopsie daisy. Eek! I've already put dimensionals on the back of my tiger. I know I need to cut the strip down to about here and then it'll be hidden underneath 
the end will be hidden underneath the tiger. So, snail on the piece of paper this time and not the craft mark. Stick that down like that. Here is our tiger all cut out and as I said I've put dimensionals on the back of him already so he can just stick down. Now here on his tail I put one but I can see it's sticking out so if this happens just take your fingers and roll the dimensional and just push it into place. If it still doesn't want to go into place or still ticking out just cut a, cut a little bit off it. It won't do it any harm whatsoever but that's what we've got. Now it's going to sit there so I've put another tiger here. This is the other one we stamped and cut out. And there again, I've already put dimensionals on the back so it can sit. And there you can see our card. So, what do you think? I hope you liked them. If you did, I'd be grateful if you could give it a thumbs up so YouTube know. Um, it really helps um, anybody who has a YouTube account. Um, and if you did like it, please do consider subscribing to future videos. As I said, all the information about the project, measurements, supply list, etc. will be on the blog post on my website. And the links to that and all my social media links are in the description box below. That includes a link to my Facebook group where um, we have lots of fun. We have online challenges and a monthly card club, etc. So do check us out. So thank you again. And until next time, enjoy being creative. Bye.